Hey guys, uh, Drowcore here again. Um, been storing up some cores so I can go through a guide on how to upgrade cores um, quick and with uh, strategy, of course. Um, green ones start with no sub stat. You just have strength 5 here um, or strength 8. Um, that's never going to stay the same. It doesn't matter if your main stat is maxed or a 2 or whatever. That's going to change every time you upgrade. So for greens, you just use this button right here, upgrade, green button at the top core. It's going to auto upgrade all the green ones to blue. That's the first chance you have to hit a max stat, um, sub stat. And that's where we're going to start making choices uh, for upgrading. But I'm going to unpack all of these f as much as possible first. Um, I really store it up so we can try and see a full upgrade all the way to hopefully a usable matched up UR. I have uh, ultra rare core, that is. It's the gold ones. Um, have plenty, uh, but always need more trying to find those perfect uh, stat type and uh, position type matches so we can do some super boosting. Um, man, five at a time, let's go. So um, that's the goal. I've got a lot of other stuff stored up. We're going to do all of this basic stuff here first so that I can show you guys where to go, uh, how to keep track of which ones you want to keep, and how you should prioritize your upgrading. Go back in here, do some boosting here, and then I've got some more to collect again. So the way you're going to get all these cores is uh, Planet League, Planet League, Planet League. Just uh, don't let your points max, keep them refreshed. Um, Push as high as you can to get the most rewards, um, and uh, just keep grinding. It's, it's uh, five greens for one blue, five blues for a purple, five purples for a red, and five reds for an ultra rare. So you really want to make sure that you just keep them coming in, keep having fodder to feed, um, and now that you can reduce them into dust and uh, use them to help you upgrade even further um, and when you get bad rolls and such um, it's really important to just um, keep the cores coming in just like when you're making players so you keep having a fodder for trades and lectors missions and all that you just really need to keep it coming there's no reason to stop you're never gonna have too many um, and it takes so many um, green basic cores to get one ultra rare. So um, just keep that in mind. You got to just keep grinding. And when you get that ultra rare, you might have to re-roll it. You might have to make some dust with it. You might have to move things around. So you need fodder UR cores also. I didn't realize I had this many. I knew I had hundreds in here, but... <laughs> this uh, is not usually uh, how you should allow your cores to store up. I did it just for this video's sake, so I have a lot of good stuff to uh, show you and hopefully uh, get a really good core out of. Can get them all out of here or how many I have left in here. Got to be getting close to the bottom now. Alright, we're just going to go in now, swap these up here to blue, and then we're going to start picking away at the blue ones here. So, so many, so many, so many. How do you pick which ones to upgrade? Alright, so go through here, and the first thing I'm going to look for is anything that's maxed. And it doesn't mean I'm going to keep it. Um, you know, everyone hates on GP, but GP just got to update, and... Gonna start being able to buy some lectors missions and some UR gear that you don't have, things like that. So, um, 
that's going to be a big change so we're going to hold on to those now again here you see the main stat strength is max that doesn't matter when we're looking for upgrading all that matters is your sub stats in this case sp is 12 that's not max this one here stamina is 10 that's max so we're going to keep that so we're going through here and we're going to lock position in on any of the ones that got a max sub stat Affinity 4 is okay. I'm going to lock it just in case I need some extra ones to upgrade. Um, getting those max and getting those really good ones is really rare. As you can see, I've only locked in 3 or 4 so far. And this is why you need to keep them coming in. Affinity 5, that's fantastic. That's 25% of uh, perfume. So uh, affinity is really key to get that affinity in on your trainers early in weeks one and two when they get their initial training um, really uh, increases your chances of hitting uh, special trainings early on um, in your developments which is really really important uh, to making strong players so um, don't hate on affinity um, the most you can have in these first two substat slots is going to be um, 20 stats, 20 skill points, 10 stamina, 5 affinity, or 200 GP. So um, nothing really outclasses uh, affinity on these first two spots. Um, we'll see how GP stacks up, but 200... Uh, means you need 25 times that to get one UR gear. So 200 is not very much. Um, looks like I've learned. Doesn't matter what you put in. Doesn't matter if they all match. Doesn't matter if any of the ones you're feeding have max main stats. All Every single time you're going to get a random roll. That was great. I got an Affinity 5 on the second one. This one now has two max substats that's a really great one uh, great potential for continuing to upgrade um, here we go feeding these now when you're clicking these it gives you a preview of what's gonna be fed over here on the left if you click on one and you see that you it's a max stat or something good just skip it and maybe you forgot to lock it you can go back and lock it all right so this is the grindy part here. So you have to go through, you know, think about what you're upgrading. Um, this part does take a little bit of time, but you can see uh, through all of these rolls um, and trying to get these upgrades, the max substats do not come that easily. Um, don't be afraid on these early ones. Like, that's a pretty good roll. Yeah, I didn't get max or max, but... If you look at the two substats, I'm one SP short of max, and I'm four dexterity short of max. So it's only five short of max right now. That's a pretty good core uh, at this stage. So, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip this part. I'm going to just try and go fast here. And um, I really want you guys to see just how many cores it takes. And this is a key part of the game. You want to get those higher players. You want to hit SSS players and pitchers. You want to hit R. Uh, cores is where it's at. Got a Mac. Cores are the, are the glue that's going to stick your team together. I think I'm just going to lock these 18s in moving forward. Um, and that Affinity 4. Let's see if I can... Oh man, it's really hitting me on the dex ones. Stamina 9 is one short of max, but I don't really like stamina. Managed mostly through trainers. Uh, but I'll lock it here just in case we run out of other fodder to feed. More in uh, my mailbox, so I'm going to pull those out too. Um, let's see, now might be a good time. Break this up a little bit. I got lots of cores. I'm feeling good. I think we're going to get something good out of this. Oh my goodness. I still have more. Okay. 
Let's do this. See how many achievements I get on this video. <laughs> Come on, baby. Click, 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 click. I should say tap, but it sounds like a click when I touch my phone screen. Okay. Running out of space again. I like getting the matched ones. Feel like if I'm gonna focus strength, I might as well focus strength. All right. Ooh, there's another max. The second little batch was much better so far than that first one. All right, so I'm running out of cores here. Let's pull some more out of storage, baby. I want to empty the sucker out. We did it! Yes! Yes! Man, that second round was way better. Hitting these maxes like nothing. Come on, don't let me down. Okay, there's another one. And sometimes I see that max. Oh, 18. I'm going to lock that one too. Another 18. Lock you. Another 18. An affinity 5. Gave me a lot of dexterity triangles the first round. And it's giving me more this round too. Boom. This I'm going to lock. I don't usually keep GP. But let's see how many I end up with to upgrade. We'll save it for the end. How about that? That will be food. Yes, you heard me, folks. For every good upgrade, you need four not-so-good ones to feed to it in the next stage. So don't fret if you don't get some good upgrades. That's the way it goes. You need food all the way up the ladder. I'm going through and locking the ones you wanted to upgrade um, makes this part easier so you can auto you know those ones aren't uh, you're not missing nothing that is a for sure food that was really really ugly 19 intelligence that's nice keep you too just in case I need some more max ones here Did, there's another max affinity man it's hooking me up on the affinity today Holy smokes. Keep that just in case. 18 and up, folks. Some people keep 17 and up. But for me, I almost don't want to keep 18s. But another affinity max. Holy crap. And I'm not keeping GP unless it's max. Just can't do it. Very, very good. Keep it coming. I'm not even going to keep that 104. I've had too many. I'm going to lock these 18s in, but I will likely not be able to upgrade all of them. Okay, so had to pause it really quick. Back from a quick break. Um... Going, oh, another one. It's really giving me lots of affinity ones. Look at that, another one as I speak. Um, that to the fun here. Once we start getting into the purple, making the reds, like a lot ends up being on the line every upgrade. It either becomes, you start hitting those stat type bonuses and position bonuses, and you're like, really hoping and pulling not just for a good stat roll but also for a good position or a good type roll depending on what you're looking for it's a lot less disappointing if you go in with uh no expectations just see what comes out of it like that was really nice 
strength on strength now with 20 skill points. Um, and then once you see what you have, then you try and fit it into a roll. Might only need to re-roll one stat or uh, make a quick change. Um, or it might even be like good enough to use not perfectly matched in, until you have more uh, trans potions to upgrade them. But we will get to that next. This we are just doing core upgrading guide. Um, really um, doing all this to show you guys how random it is, how many cores it actually takes, and you can see I'm just plowing through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cores. Um, and you're going to see we're going to whittle down to just a one maybe that's uh, good and usable at a higher tier. If uh, any of this if it goes above you, the theory is still the same. Um, you're going to just grind away and keep upgrading. If you're still using SSR cores, that's fine. Um, the theories will, will still apply and you can still use it to, to continue your growth um, until you're just using UR cores. Would not recommend pushing UR cores until, um, until you have enough uh, because you really do um, lose inventory fast. Um, when you start pushing those UR cores, having to feed four SSR red cores to make one other red core a UR gold core um, really hurts if you do it too early. So uh, try not to do that if you're still in that stage where most of your trainers um, have primarily SSR cores on them. Um, just don't do it. It's just going to hurt your progress. Uh, just do it as they come. Don't force bad ones up. Make sure that they have a good selection of substats maxed or close to max. Uh, the first two substats are actually the most important, which is why I'm doing this portion of the video. You're really uh, spending so much time, I mean, um, doing all these manual upgrades. You don't think it's that important. Um, most people don't because you, you don't get the big stat bumps. You don't get the skill discounts. You don't get the mood. You don't get the other like specialty stats that you can hit on the third and fourth substat bonus. However, you don't really want to waste a trans potion on a level one or two substat. You just don't. Like, it's just not good. Like... So what? On this one here, for example, substat dex 5. I'm 15 short of max. That's not too bad. I could get a good roll. But what if I have a 10 substat on an SSR on the third substat? Or like this, a 19. I can re-roll that 19 and have a potential for a 21 point increase. Or even something juicier, like a skill discount. So um, the first two substats are really important to make sure that when you're upgrading from blue to purple, you're only doing the top level 18 or up, 17 or up if you're early uh, game, to get these purple ones that then you can make the really good choices on. So I have two maxes, so I'm going to lead, right? You hit, you maybe, well, probably unlock you and feed you. You missed, so you got unlocked. You missed, sadly, so you got unlocked. You missed. You missed. You hit, I will lock you. You missed. You missed. I will unlock you. You are pretty nice. You are only pos mediocre, not even worth a shot to reroll, right? You missed. You missed. You missed. This one's not too bad. Stamina, only three off a of max. 
SP2 off of Max, but there's no stats. So it's really hard to use. You missed, sadly. You missed really bad. You missed. You missed. So you gotta go through each one and check. So after we upgraded, we had an 18, we got a 10. That's not good. 28 out of 40, not good. Go in for the fun part. Come on, baby, give me something good. Very, very, very bad. 17 hit. Um, that's not feeling great. Um, but it's low enough that putting a trans potion on it will almost 100% get a better, an increase. So, next. Let's see, let's see. Yep, mentality, and again, less than half of max. 400 is the max on GP for substat 3. Only hit a 190. That needs a reroll. I'm gonna wait on that one. Oh, this one missed hard. I'm gonna take you off. Um, let's see how this one does. Not bad. I got an eye with an eye. Tons of eye trainers in the meta right now. Currently using Ditto in my pitching deck. I got Michaela, Bastet, Britra. Eyes all over the place. So this has a lot of good potential. Um, here's another good eye base core. And good substats. Let's see how this one lands. Not bad at all. 340 out of 400 on the GP. Not bad. This one here I'm going to hold off on still. This one here I'm going to hold off on. Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> that is really nice. Very, very nice. Three shy of max on the third substat. Hit I again. Fantastic. Got a deck space. So I'm down one, five, eight total off of max. Good. You, not so good. You, not so good. You, not good. You, not horrible, but not life-changing. You're pretty good. You're not good. So you're going to go through and just keep doing this over and over and over. Man, all my affinities missed, except for one, I think, so far. You missed, and you missed. Okay. So, time to feed. Come on, baby, give me some um, skill discount. Nope. I did on a G. Interesting. On to Pentagon. Let's see. Crap. That one's nice. That one missed. That one's really nice. That one missed. All right, I got some affinity, but they're all here on the Pentagon side. Um, that one's pretty nice. That one is very nice. I'm excited. This one's going to be good upgrading. And you missed. That one's okay. I'll save you for last. You missed. You missed. You missed. Anything hiding here? Oh, you're nice. Boom. Some of these purples just came in off of the grid. I didn't upgrade. They just came in from boxes out of the inventory. Um, you missed. Some of these missed pretty hard. Oh, man. I just can't do it. Just can't do it. Let's see what happens if... Ooh, that one's not too shabby. That one missed pretty hard. You missed hard. Hard miss. Hard miss. That could be okay. That one missed pretty hard. That one could be okay. Alright. We are really getting close now, baby. This is the last round of... Per oh, that was painful. That was painful. Here we go. Double max. Could be amazing. Start. Let's see. I again, but 
Uh, 17. It's so low. It's so low on a substat for a level 3 substat. So low. The max is 40. That is not too bad. Don't know how many skill point ones I need, but I seem to run out of eye the most. Intelligence stacks was good. That was pretty good. Let's see how you land. Very nice, very nice. These are all decent. These are all landing pretty decent, but nothing like life changing yet. But it never really happens until you do that final upgrade to make to see how it locks in, you know? It's just you never know. And then the fun part comes when you start using trans potions can change your life. All right, here's the last purple upgrade. Which one do we want to do today? We'll do you. You are two, three off a of max. You're three off a of max, but you're all stats. Change my mind. We do you. Yes. Now that is very, very, very nice. We get to go in and finalize. See if we can... Bust any beautiful UR matched cores out. So, I'm going to go through here. You could earn a spot, but you would have to get a reroll on that third sub stat. You, so I'm looking really still just at the first two sub stats. These are all nice. You're okay for a G point. I only have one other G point triangle here. So that one's pretty enticing. This definitely would need a reroll on the third substat. This would definitely need a reroll on the third substat, as would this. As would this. This is total garbage, not savable. So you are food. This is pretty nice. You're definitely going to earn an upgrade into URNS. I only have three I UR triangles. Four. One, two, three, four, five, five. Um... And really just need more. You are money. Only one SP short. This is pretty nice. Without a lot of need for a reroll. You are total food. This is extremely nice. I'm going to lock you in. You... You just lost it for me. I don't really like that. And... That is very nice. Another I, no need for reroll. Another M, no need for reroll. Those are money. So, speaking for me, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine food, which means I can make two. You are. You need eight, four for each. So, I'm going to go with the I. Dex one here first. One, two. I mean, these are just money, but. Closing pitcher. I will definitely get re rolled. My Miho is not very high. And that was a really shitty fourth substat there. Strength 11 out of 40. Could be so much better. But. We will get to that next. So, I'm really, 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 really feeling this one right here. Or this one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mama said, I need more intelligence. Ha <laughs> ha. Intelligence second base was pretty much the worst possible roll. The stat is decent. The 62s leaves me speechless. But 
this is how it rolls. So, on to diamonds. How would we go? This one's fantastic. I will try not to feed you. This one, not the greatest. And I hit the stamina, and the SP, and then a shitty stat. There's like no stats in this. You need stats. As far as G points go, this one is better than this one. This one is way better than this one. Ignore the 32 and the 51. They don't matter. They will get re-rolled. So you get unlocked. You don't need 33 SP. You'd rather have a skill discount. It would save me many more than 33 SP. You also, another G, you will get unlocked for food. And that's would need a reroll, so you're not worthy of locking. You would need a reroll. You would need a reroll. And you would need a reroll. So, as I can only afford one, you win the prize. And I'm just going to feed the worst ones I have. Is you starting pitcher G, and the starting pitcher was a crappy roll, so that will be potioned. And last but not least, those are not worthy. You are worthy, but would need a reroll. You would need a reroll. You are not worthy. You total food. You. Would need a reroll on the eye, so I unlock you for now, because that's what I would want. You have potential, you have potential, you have potential, you lose to that one, and would need a reroll. You are not great. You uh, that one's interesting. I got a max on the third. I'm twelve shy on that one. Not sold, not sold. Nope. You would need a reroll. This one is very nice. So you go first. Look at these ones I'm feeding. That one has potential, but no stats. You can't have no stats. Boom. Come on, baby. Not too shabby. 81. Might have to reroll the first base. Um, who goes next? Your food. Who is next? Which one? Which one? Which one? You are so nice. I think we do you. I mean, you're nice and you're nice. You're both nice. Okay, you first. Alright, another one with a horrible matchup. This is a really good example of how... Your rolls can be pretty nice, missed on the main stat at 62, but all your substats are pretty good. But the matchup of your type stat and your position stat just don't match to anything trainer that's usable or even exists at this point. Um, so that's a little bit frustrating. These things might change. They might come out with new trainers. Obviously, they already are, so one might move into this position. But for now, this is pretty much unusable. Um, so you can see, after all of this upgrading, we went from hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Of course, overflowing my inventory was over 450. I'm at 130 of 450 now. I was full, plus I had hundreds of in the mailbox and we have come all the way down to making two pentagon urs one diamond ur and two triangle urs so keep grinding boys keep grinding next we will talk about 
maximizing cores by using potions um, and super boosting and getting them into position uh, for uh, further upgrades. See you guys.